in the skies over Kyiv a new threat, this time from Iran. Ukraine says that's who made some of the deadly drones that Russia used to attack the capital. Iran denies it. Kremlin isn't commenting. In Washington, White House Press Secretary Karine Jean-Pierre addressed VOA's questions about the Iranian-made drones and how the U.S. will respond. They have not been truthful uh, about this and deny providing weapons to Russia for use in Ukraine. Uh, Meanwhile, according to these new reports, Iran is considering selling still more uh, destructive weapons to support an invasion they claim to oppose. Now, what we're we're doing here, we'll continue to vigorously enforce U.S. sanctions on both uh, the Russian and Iranian arm trade. That's what we'll we'll do from here. Uh, Make it harder for Iran to sell these weapons to Russia. But analysts say there's not much more the West can do to isolate Iran. If it comes to consequences, about all you can do is the same thing you've already been doing for months, which is you can pick the individuals and the corporations and the commands that are providing and buying these systems and using them, and you can single people out for sanctions. At this point in time, that has very limited effectiveness. The U.S. government has also been notably outspoken about a wave of unrest that has swept Iran after the death in September of a young woman while in the custody of the country's morality police. The eyes of the world are rightly uh, on the brave protesters in Iran right now who are standing up and speaking out for their rights, uh, not just the rights of of women, but but their overall human rights. And the United States uh, stands with them as they do that. We've taken a number of steps in recent days and weeks to uh, hold the, the regime accountable for the actions that we've seen. That includes, she said, sanctions against high-level Iranians and also U.S. communications support to Iranians so they can communicate with each other and access a range of media. The White House also appears concerned that a delicate nuclear deal negotiated over months between Western negotiators and Tehran may be stalled. As of now, we don't see a deal coming together anytime soon. Analysts say the deal, known as the Joint Comprehensive Plan of Action, or JCPOA, has been in peril since Iran's 2021 election brought in a hardline president. The JCPOA was in very, very serious trouble since the Iranian election. Basically, Iran has had some degree of democracy and dissent. Its government has, to some extent, been more tolerant than its clerics up till now. The current president is, to all intents and purposes, a cleric and extremely conservative. So what now? The U.S. says Iran's leadership needs to budge. And so do protesters in the Iranian cities of Tehran, Hamadan, Rasht, and Isfahan, as well as demonstrators in Beirut, Santiago, Chile, Rome, Jerusalem, and here in Washington. Anita Powell, VOA News, The White House.